Today I am going to show you how you can make motion graphics and create animated subscribe button and the notification bell icon with clicking effect. So here is the example. So this is the one uh, I am going to show you how you can create by yourself. So to make this animations you can see here there uh, total I used three different objects one two three and the sound and this is the background so background is not required so how you need to export those uh, different parts of the notification bell icon and the subscribe button so in Illustrator, I already designed this subscribe button and the notification bell icon and we'll save it in three different parts. So first and from here you can hide it. So now the subscribe button, the channel icon and only the notification bell icon will save in PNG uh, 24 transparent. So here in the preset you can see it is PNG24 transparent and click on save. So let me give the name one and save it. So after saving this again go to object and show all. This time we'll hide this one first. And I'll hide this one also. And we'll save only this much. So go to File, Export, Save for Web, and again PNG24 Transparent, and click on Save. And here give the name 2. So after saving the second part, again show them all and this time I'll hide this one again and this one also and I'll save only this object and save this time give 3 and save so we saved all the elements uh, in three different parts. So we are done with Illustrator. Now in Camtasia, uh, this is Camtasia Studio 9, and we'll make the same effect here. So let me open new project. And now import our file. So including one background, uh, I'm adding four elements here. So first add this uh, background and then the first object, third one, and then the second one. To the first object, here we'll apply the behavior and uh, I'll apply this pop-up and let's check. So it will appear like that. And uh, to this here you can see from which direction uh, your elements will pop up so from the button from the from from this direction this will uh, pop up here and now click here so after popping up here it should be constant but if i play here it is not constant you can see still it is shaking so we want to stop this shaking uh, let me show you once again. So up to here, after first shake and the pop-up, it should be constant. So 
what I'll do, I'll split this object into two parts. And from this uh, right hand side part, I'll remove the effects that I applied. And now if you play, you can see after one uh, shake, it remains constant. There is no motion anymore. So where I split exactly on that part, our uh, this thumb should come the pointer from here it it must be started and here also take it here and now let's play you can see there is no uh, clicking thumb option uh, hand option is not coming even the effect of the bell icon is not showing so it will show when when this one will reach up to here can you see it so first the thumb should come and then the effect of the bell icon should come like after clicking it show like that so now i'll uh, add effect for the pop-up to the hand and let's see how it appears. So from here, the effect of the bell icon should start at. And now let's see. It should be perfectly matching. So this much is fine. What I'll do now here, I'll add the sound here, like the clicking sound. Here. So I have this audio sound here for the click. And from here, I'll add this clicking sound. And now let's see. And after that, I'll use the highlight. On the same time, I'll use the highlight. So here in uh, annotation, under annotation, you'll find this option is special. And here is the highlight option you can see. Just you need to drag it over here. and make the box smaller so that it should only should cover up to the bell icon and now let's check let me make a little bit more timings here and you can reduce them so now let's play the final so now you can do control plus a and select them all and uh, you can reduce the scale you can make it smaller so let me do unselect this one so by pressing shift key you can unselect this one and to all the selected elements you can reduce the scale and make it smaller and you can bring it here at the down and do right click to the selection and group it so it becomes one group and you can play it again. 
so here the highlight one is misplaced so let let us do ungroup once again and place the highlighted things in the proper place and now you can do the selection once again and group it and now let's check now it is perfect so after making this uh, you need to save it for the future or to use easily on any of your video so here what you can do do the right click and here is a add to library so when we'll click there you can see to this library you can add it so hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching